Spartan edition. What are you doing? Uh, oh, I'm just playing games. Uh, miss, you know, uh, I get back to making the Spartan edition. Yeah, get on it, Ben. Come on. Hey, TJ, it's Gabe. And Michaela, and we're your main anchors for this week. For starters, there's only a few weeks left in the winter sports season. Can you believe that? Next up are all the spring sports. There's track and field meeting next. It will be at lunch on Wednesday in Miss Popper's room. They will discuss the upcoming season and registration and practices, so if you are thinking about track and field this year, you better get to that meeting. With that, let's send it to admin. Good morning, Spartans. Quick reminder that spring sports registration is currently open, so make sure you guys are registering, uploading your physical and paying online. Uh, the first day of tryouts is the 19th for some sports and the 26th of February for some other sports. So make sure you go to the website, take a look, and get yourself registered. Have a great day. Good morning, Spartans. Happy Monday. It's an interesting week. Challenge day. And then Thursday, Thursday is honor roll. So watch out at lunch at some point. We'll be handing out those tickets for honor roll in the Smarty Party. Have a great day. Good morning, TJ. Mr. Christoph here, your favorite principal. Hopefully you guys kept warm this weekend with all the snow on Saturday and had fun at the dance on Saturday night. Um, hey, this is announcements for seniors. If you guys are interested, I know I said this earlier and some of you have signed up, but if you're interested in giving a speech at commencement, there's no qualifications as far as grades go or anything like that. Obviously, you have to graduate high school in order to participate in commencement and thus give a speech. However, otherwise, nothing else. If you're interested, it's on your Schoology page. Sign up. Um, I'm going to close it at the end of this week. So there's been about 15 of you guys that have already signed up and said you're interested. It's just real simple. Give me your name and a reason why you think you should give a speech at commencement. All right. That's all I got for you, TJ. We got a lot of things going on this week. Have a great week. Christoph out. Coming off of last week's Wish Week and all that was involved with that, you would think this week would be a little less on the events and activities. On Thursday, we have a chamber music concert for students in honor and band orchestra. It will be at 7 p.m. on Thursday. Juniors, are you going to Challenge Day? Tuesday and Wednesday is Challenge Day for juniors. There are questions about it we know, so here are our answers to those questions from some TJ counselors. Hey juniors, Miss Kennedy here with a reminder that tomorrow and Wednesday is challenge day. Please be on time and check in in the cafeteria. Tomorrow, the first part of the alphabet, last names A through L will go, and then on Wednesday, the second half of the alphabet, last names M through Z will go. If you would like to opt out, see your counselor, and keep in mind that if you do opt out, the expectation is that you are attending all of your regular classes. If you have any questions, see your counselor or the mental health team, and we're really excited for the event and look forward to seeing you there. Thanks, counselors. Let's send it to news. I'm Dolma. And I'm Pimento Ham and Cheese Sandwich. And we're here with the news. Speaking of food. The Food Bank of the Rockies brought mobile pantries to the communities in need in Colorado. The Food Bank of the Rockies also donated meal boxes to low-income seniors. In other news, there's a new high school internship program starting at a children's hospital in Colorado Springs. In very different news, let's talk about machines. SwissPod is starting to build a Hyperloop test track at Ple 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 Plex. Now I believe that's all the news we have for today. But we do have more for planned for you tomorrow. Goodbye, TJ. Alright, TJ. Today we got a low of 22 and a high of 51. It's cold out there. Make sure you wear your coats and layer layers. Stay warm, TJ. Hello, TJ. It's Breck. And Jaden filling in for Aiden today. 
I'm not a senior, but if you are a senior, there's lots of resources to help with the crazy cost of college. One of those best resources for college is TJ's Fast Foot Cast Foot Workshop on Thursday, February 15th from 3 to 7 p.m. All seniors need to be at this workshop. If you have any questions, scan the QR code somewhere around here. That's it for right now. Let's send it to sports. Hey TJ, it's Doran. And Noah, and we are your sports anchors for the week. Let's give a congratulations to all the wrestlers who made state. Congrats to Austin and Kira, Ia, Miles, and Trey. Boys and girls basketball have crossover games this week. Boys are at home versus East tomorrow, and girls are away at Far Northeast. Make sure you come support your basketball teams, TJ. In professional news, the Kansas City Chiefs win the Super Bowl, despite of Travis Kelsey pushing his coach mid-game. And the Niners have the worst special teams I've ever seen. And a fry will get him next year. That's all for today, TJ. See you next time. What's up, TJ? It's Adriel from TJ Wrestling. Uh, we just had a regional tournament this past weekend. Uh, we ended up taking seventh as a team, and we had five boys qualify for state. Those boys were Austin Wynn, Kutra Husani, Iab Yasu, Miles Anderson, and Trevion Johnson. If you see them in the halls, make sure to wish them luck. Hi, uh, TJ Spartans. My name is Noah Abraham. Um, Spartan basketball. Uh, Saturday, we won a C team against Vista Peak. Uh, it was a close game at the end, but we pulled out one by three and wish the basketball luck in the halls for crossover games. Hi, it's Amaya from Girls Basketball. We have a game tomorrow against Far Northeast at 6 o'clock, and it's only varsity playing for one of our crossover games. So come to the game or support us. Another fun event for this week is the Smarty Party that we'll have on Thursday. If you haven't gone before, it's basically a giant celebration of academic success where you get prizes and can win dreams, basically. So make sure you're there, TJ. That's all for today. See you tomorrow. Hello, Spartans. I'm Emmanuel, and I'm for Speech and Debate. And today, we're having a bake sale outside um, after school. And there are Krispy Kreme's donuts for $2. We sub cash a cart. So come on and support our TJ Speech and Debate Club. Thank you. Hey TJ, it's Selena from TJ Interact. We have a meeting today in room 10, so come and be there. Thanks TJ. Hey TJ, are you interested in joining the club? Well, I'm gonna show you how you can do that. Step number one is to go to the club board and see when they meet. Step number two is to choose a club that interests you. We have a lot of different clubs to choose from. Women's Empowerment Club is the best one. Number three, make sure to join the clubs Remind or find them on social media. Number four is go to the clubs and participate. Hey, is this Women's Empowerment Club? Yeah, come on in! Bonus step is step number five. Add to your college resume. Join a club with the Spartan Edition. Yo, bro, what did the Buffalo say to this kid when he went to college? What? Bye, son. Yeah, bro, it was not that funny. Stop with all like a fa. Today, we're asking Spartans what they thought of the Super Bowl. What do you think of the Super Bowl this year, sir? Uh, Super Bowl went well. Um, I think based off my answer last week, it would have been nice to see the 49ers win, but uh, Pat Mahomes. How did you feel about the Super Bowl? Uh, it, it was it was really fun, man. I didn't have a dog in the fight. I'm a Bears fan, um, but uh, it was two great teams. You know, I watched the whole first half. Second half, I was like putting my kids to bed and stuff. But but I was I was checking the play by play. You know, so it was a great game, and uh, um, I, I really enjoyed every moment that I got to watch. How would you rate this year's Super Bowl compared to previous? I would rate this one at a four. Sounds good. Thank you. How'd you feel about this year's Super Bowl? It was rigged. Do you think the game was rigged last night? For sure. Why? Because the Chiefs shouldn't have won. What's your opinion on the Super Bowl? Being a Rams fan, really glad that the Niners lost. Would have liked to seen Christian McCaffrey get a Super Bowl and Fred Warner. They're good players. But Patrick Mahomes, greatest quarterback of all time. Uh, I absolutely hate Tom Brady. So really glad to see Patrick Mahomes, the most talented and uh, just a mo m most amazing quarterback of all time, winning another Super Bowl and hopefully getting Tom Brady out of our memory.